Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Main Stack Complete Live Project Development from scratch. In the last episode, we created the templates for our services and few models that we require also setting up the environment files. Today we'll start with actual integration of the services from the front end to the back end calls. It's going to be an exciting episode, a little bit longer as expected because this is where you do the end-to-end -end stitching. I'm very excited about this particular episode. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. All right, so welcome to the project. Uh, we are building a loan manager application, which is a loan management system. Please do support this project. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. For the access to code, please do write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Also, please do continue supporting by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing these tutorials with your friends and family. Thank you in advance. Alrighty, so, so far um, we have done all the base work independently, which is for the UI as well as for the backend APIs. Today, we are starting with actual integration, which will lead us to the CRUD operations, which is create, read, update, and delete. All right, so what are we going to do in this particular uh, episode? So we will extend the services that we created in the last episode. We will import the HTTP client module. We'll import the HTTP client into our service. We'll update our environment file, and we will start making those HTTP calls for our customer feature module. This will kind of set the ground for all the CRUD operations that we are going to do in this particular application. There is a lot of work ahead. Let's get straight into it. All right, hey, so let's first open the um, loans um, UI repo and you see that we created um, the uh, environment file. So let's just check this one time. So here it looks like HTTP localhost 300. So we need to start our API. So let's do npm run start. Um, that's where we will start. And I know that we'll have to add customer slash list that's the endpoint so either instead of doing for each and every one um, I can do something like this here I can say customer underscore base underscore URL which will be this entire thing followed by customers right so then I can just say here list view and comma right so that way we got the customer base URL and then the endpoints for each one of them. Perfect. All right, so now let's go to our application services and services and go to customer service. So this is the one. So first thing before we even do this, we need to go to our app module, right? Go to app module and we will have to import an important library without which we cannot work on HTTP, which is thread angular slash common slash HTTP, right? So this has a module called HTTP client module. So we need to import that class module and inject it into our list of modules, right? So in the imports, just write the imports and um, once we have the HTTP client module, once we have imported it, then go to services, go to customer.service.ts. Now we'll have to import the client that we need to work with. So this will be HTTP client from at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. All right. So once you have imported the HTTP client, we'll have to import it as a we'll have to inject it into our constructor and this is this is how we have injected the HTTP client into the service now that being said let's write few methods to get so I'll say get customer get customers is a method and I'm going to say view customer we will pass the ID of the customer similarly we will have to edit customer. So I'll pass the ID as well as the uh, customer object, 
which means the new data object that we need to update and I'm going to say delete customer and I'm going to pass the ID of the customer that I want to delete so this forms the basis for our CRUD operations right basically create read update delete so I'm going to say cust search customer and I'm going to pass keyword as a parameter to the URL which will be the search term all right so we'll implement that later first we need to get the endpoint working right so we are going to use this and say this dot HTTP client dot get now before we do that so that's why that's the reason I did not create uh, so to avoid the kind of hard coding the values I created the environment file right that way we know which environments we are working with so here I'm going to import the environment from slash and slash assets slash environment uh, slash environment slash environment dev and import the environment here and now I'm going to add and create that URL here URL is equal to environment dot customer base URL plus right and then I'm going to say environment dot uh, customer dot customer dot get all customers right so see how easy it will becomes to manage your endpoints right so you don't have to actually go and type all that by yourself all right so here I'm saying this dot get HTTP clients dot URL so once we do that all I'm going to do is return it right now we will modify this later in the coming episodes because the idea is to just get the kind of um, uh, rather I should say that the idea is to get the current one without observables right we will do that uh, we will convert all of this into uh, observables into special models that we want to attend but that's for the next episodes to come for now all I'm saying is make a request to the URL which is this customer URL and return the data that we are getting right so this was for the customer service now go to the component which is your customers here list customers go to customer component right and now what we are going to do here is first inject the customer service so we are going to say dot slash dot slash services slash customer service and then I'm going to say customer service import it and once we do that then I'm going to say get customer list define a method and we will use this we'll have to inject this into the constructor and we'll create an instance of it and this is the constructor here I'm saying this dot customer service it gives me all the methods I'm going to say get customers right now this is where it will get little tricky now okay because we have to do a subscription so we'll do subscribe right I'm going to show you how to use rxjs methods also in the coming episodes because you'll have to use and write code like a master right I don't want you guys to write code like a simple junior guys right um, nothing wrong in that the only thing I don't like is that the, the code is not that great and it does not look really professional whereas you can get a lot of um, existing help from the operators that you can use like map pipe filter etc so that is something that I will show you how to modify when we do refactoring of this code for now I'm calling the method to get the data once I get the data I will subscribe to it and I'll get the data response so what I'm going to do now is create two simple um, variables right and I'm going to say customer result right I'm going to say any and I'm going to say customer list any right 
So once we have done that, I'm going to assign it now and say customer result is equal to data, right? So that will be the result we will get. Now I'm going to create a customer list out of it. So customer list, that's because our JSON structure is different, right? That's why I had to do this. In this, I'll have results, right? That's what I'll be extracting or rather I say, I should say, let me extract from here dot results okay so this will be my uh, instance so let me just console dot log we have written a lot of code but we have not tested it yet so we'll run into a lot of issues but that's fine okay so we got the method done we did the subscription let's just run it and see ng sub usually you will never get something working in first go right I mean obviously because when you write so much code some or the other place it will go wrong just make sure that you don't make syntax mistakes right um, because uh, when you do when you do those mistakes it, it shows up in the editor itself so make sure that you don't do that otherwise logically we will run into some or the other um, issues at some point um, which is totally fine so it's application is compiled that means at least there are no issues there right so let's get started and see what we can do uh, to get our data now so I'm going to do a local host 4200 and we get the go to customers and we have our data right so we have our data here and now what we are going to do is open console and see if there are any errors surprisingly no errors but I don't know whether this but okay so get customers guess get customer list I'm going to call it on ng on in it to see if we get that so let's see that dot customers load okay so there you go it is giving us errors from origin okay so this is called course issues right so let's go to our API close it so we'll what we'll have to do is install a, a module called course this means cross origin request uh, right so we have installed course now here course 2.8.5 now go to API and go to your app.js install and get the course and say require course okay now the basic use that you can do is with your app right uh, they I have used that previously in my experience in other projects but I can tell you with confidence that there are other implementations that you can do with course like you can set the headers etc but for now I'm just going to go with the simple usage of it which is to call the default method all right so now I have said use course so it will take care of the local host issues hopefully let's run oh there's a lot of work to code I hope you appreciate my time and effort if you do please do consider buying me a coffee I'll appreciate that alrighty so we got our API done um, let's see what's happening in our UI okay so here I see that it is printing the results you see this these results are coming from actual database right so let's go and do that mapping for only for one screen because that's going to be the amazing one and we are going to go here to list components we are getting the data and mapping it to this dot customer list go to HTML and delete all of the code right and go to TR right and go to TR T R T R. Find all the table row records. Uh, that's what I'm doing, and delete them. Right. So delete all of it because this is how our application will look. Right. So it's near to the closing. That means there is no data or there is no records as of now. So now I'm going to use ng4, and I'm going to say let customer of customer list. Is it customer list oh it's a small C so this should be small C 
get customer of customer list and this is where you would start mapping the data using the data binding and you are going to say customer dot just look at the fields that we got here we got underscore ID right so underscore ID and similarly copy this should be the first name so see now we are actually binding the data to dynamic data that we are getting right so we have got we have got first name last name this is very exciting because for the first time now you will be seeing actual data that's integrated that's working end to end and that's amazing feeling all right so you can give department you know all of that so go here and say first name last name phone number do we have phone number yes we have so just say dot phone number right so map the data that we are getting from the response right and date of birth and DOB and email address right so that's how you will get all the values mapped to the UI screen right and department date of birth so for now let's just have it New York as the default one we'll modify that all right let's go to our UI oopsie now you see all the data that we see is actual live data that we are getting right this is all real-time data that we are seeing this is not static data anymore so far this has been a beautiful journey we are now able to see all the test data that we created we are making a call to the customers API and we are getting the data mapping it to customer list and then displaying it in the UI this is amazing I mean I can tell you uh, this is the first step uh, towards making all of our application dynamic but you see the data is now dynamic our service is now integrated the first level and this is exciting this is exciting because now the application will start taking the shape all of it will be data driven will implement a lot of functionality will make sure all of these screens are also integrated and this would be complete right so in the next episode I will continue building the CRUD operations for customer we will do add edit update delete and extend it further if you are liking the tutorial so far please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials for the code access please do write to me at surya.radhya at gmail.com I cannot tell you how excited I am to complete this project for you I am sure you too are please do consider liking subscribing to this channel and please do share these videos with your friends and colleagues thank you so much join me in the next episode we will continue building the crud operations thank you